right, let's start today's session. <clears throat> So in the last session, we discussed about the uh, Django installation process and also making setup of Django. So finally, we create a project and we run the server for our project. So to open existing project in PyCharm, so you just go to open PyCharm professional editor. So this is PyCharm professional editor. And you have to open that is the existing project. So right now, which is loading, this is not your project. And now let's open an, a, your project, which is created in the last session. I just created in the last session, a project on desktop folder, that is Django 6.30 AM. In this folder, we just create a project called Django project 6.30 AM. In this project application also created, and my application, application files are different project related files are different okay now here it this is dot virtual environment so my env is your virtual environment name clearly so this i have can you to please open. show us the can you please show us the my virtual environment uh, installation already i have shown no virtual environment installation in command prompt again so you just go to command prompt and folder you can create which folder do you want you can move to that folder cd space and i'm not executing just i'm showing virtual environment how to create means virtual env space your virtual environment name. this is the command this this name can be of any name so virtual env is the command your virtual environment name is this name only yes i'll try i'll try to show you this is virtual environment creation but i'm no i'm getting um some error on the command so what is that directly you cannot create in which, in which folder do you want to create virtual environment you have uh, to... on the yeah I, uh, i'm on my my profile uh, I'm, whatever I'm it under is my, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. virtual env and my env so what is the error you are getting Okay, so this is a system cannot find the path specified. That's what that's not correct path only. So, see, in your case, I need to take a separate uh, uh, connection because so you have a lot okay. of problem. But in this demo lectures, we cannot focus on this your problem right now at this moment. So once I'll de demos finish, then one fine day, Saturday or Sunday, I'll connect uh, and you can show the screen yours your screen. I, you can show me. So that I can resolve all the issues only. This is not right time to resolve your issue. Every issue is, it's a simple issue, but you're asking uh, to solve here only. This is not right way, right time. So okay. I can spend separate time for your all issues. They can be resolved at one, one interval time. That is or better. Can you stay online after after five minutes once the class is over? No, I just no, need a no. little help. Okay. No, not required. After, five, after this class, I have only half an hour time to reach my institute. So 8 a.m. I have to start again one more session in the offline students. So that's why it's not. So do one thing. Anyway, this Saturday will be free time. So tomorrow only I'll take the session. So five demos will be over Django session. Saturday will be holiday. Next regular sessions will happen on Monday and March. So you can join Saturday at same time. One hour time we have enough time. So I'll make it clear for your Django project. That will be the best. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So now let's open this uh, this one here database. Uh, this is the project which I want to open. So file menu, open project here. So open option. Your project is where it is created on in the desktop only. So let's go to desktop option C drive, users, and my computer name is this one. You can expand it. And after that, you can see this desktop is there here. You can expand it. And now you can see Django 8 a, uh, 630 AM is my folder name. You can expand it. In this folder, I created Django project 630 AM. So this is the project name, which I'm opening now, this window. So it's opening now. 
after open the project which i have created already through command prompt step by step in the last session that opening directly into pycharm professional editor so after that you can see this in the left hand side project folder is there project folder contain lot of files in it py init.py asgi.py settings.py urls.py wsgi py these are the project related files asgi means asynchronous gateway interface wsgi means web server gateway interface but these two files at this time not at all required for us but i'll explain mostly in the next session each and every file why and what is the purpose but today two files are required for us settings and urls are important i'll talk about settings also these are the project related files but every project contains multiple applications or one application i have one application right now my app like that you can create any number of applications okay any number of applications you can create so this is the my app application level files are different so first migration folder is there now init.py is there admin.py is there administrative panel how to manage it apps.py is there in case any testing you want to do python testing then we can use apps.py sorry test.py apps.py means application configuration models views and template so model dijango you know that the dijango is completely depend on mvt pattern model view template so right now we have models and right now we have views but there is no template folder generally template folder also will come by default but here it is not coming by default why because we just created this project into pyt uh, command prompt through step by step command prompt through i created the project which you created through command prompt that doesn't show any template folder by default and the project which we create directly from this uh, what we can say pycharm professional editor like this file menu click on new project this is second way to create a project directly without following any commands with command prompt file menu click on new project select the dijango framework in the left hand side okay so here you can see location e drive and after that you can see more settings is there in this more settings template folder is there or not yes application name also you can create it just i am trying to create application name dijango project 5 is my project name so in the more settings option you can see template languages are there yes in dijango we will work with template language also the template language name is dtl dijango template language or we can go for another template language also jinja 2 is a template language so in dijango two template languages are support one is dtl or jinja 2 but most of the cases uh, jinja 2 is recommend for flask framework whenever we start flask framework later so you will see jinja 2 template language i'm going to use <coughs> but generally dijango projects <coughs> dijango template language is required to use so template language dijango template language template folder name templates only here okay templates folder templates then application name i'm giving my app so this is application name giving is optional why because if you don't give application name later also after creating dijango project you can create any application clearly not a problem but look at this whenever i try to give the application name here so i select that template folder automatically there template language dijango my app just let me create this one so i am going to create this one now if you create dijango project like this by directly going through pycharm professional editor so what is the uh, hierarchy of project folder you can see and when i was created already dijango project through command prompt okay what was the hierarchy you will see this right now it is uh, showing dijango installed or not and uh, virtual environment is going to create and uh, also path setting everything is doing manually so alpha project is created now you can see what is the uh, project hierarchy when we create a project directly in pycharm professional editor only okay this is the project hierarchy look at this dijango project name is created application also created but look at this note this point here you can see whenever we go to uh, 
here my application and after that it is ready to still it is not ready after ready i will show you so in indexing python so this is making setup here so now it is ready once you got this settings.py urls.py everything now it is ready now let's close this all tabs now note this point here left hand side we have template folder also or not yes why we got template folder like this because we created django project directly in python professional editor at the time of creating python professional editor through django project there was a template folder automatically generated so that's what this template folder is coming here only okay and also you can see this in the django project file which i created but directly in python professional editor when we go to settings.py settings.py is very very important file so settings.py file is a global file or any settings if you do changes in settings.py it will impact on all applications under your django project all application yes exactly <clears throat> once we do changes in settings.py file the impact will be effect on all application only here okay yes yes we need to install django project yes every django project do we need to install django yes but whenever you you create a, every project separately using command prompt in that virtual environment you have to install django pip space install space django but the moment when we create a new project for pycharm professional this will ensure that automatically installation over got my point because why you may doubt you may get doubt why sir django one time i have installed in my computer then why don't it is effect on every project again need to be installed means every project will create automatically separate virtual environment virtual environment on that virtual environment you can you have to install django compulsory and project to project some things are there if you, you can also install every project separate uh, django version suppose right now django project 5 is there i need for this project django third version you can install php space install space django equal to equal to 3.0 like that so every project django need to be installed the reason is virtual environment will create on that environment you must and should install django even though we, when we install django software in your system that will not impact on project you may wonder that because i have already installed django sir but whenever i start the creating project through command prompt when i start run the server that server is not running because of django is not there yes we have not installed for your project django in your virtual environment so this is compulsory in every django project separate virtual environment will create the meaning is virtual environment is that is only i said no virtual environment is nothing but isolated environment isolation environment that environment is separately created for your project which makes uh, without any disturb uh, other projects then directly you can able to do with your project only if you do any installation and installation that will not impact on other projects only that is the main importance of virtual environment now coming to the settings.py file settings.py file is very important this is the global file we can say for entire the project okay for entire the project this settings.py file is a common file for every project every project can have the settings.py now you can see in the settings.py two changes you have to observe here mainly so and and uh, my uh, sincere request don't change the unnecessary things in settings.py file okay don't disturb settings.py file if you do any modification in settings.py file the impact is very uh, big in the in your in your project so that's what which is required that is only you can change it try to change it now i'm trying to show you here right now in settings.py mainly installed apps is there look at this in the settings.py installed apps these are all built in apps which i have once we create django project automatically this apps are configured django.contrib.admin auth authentication content types sessions messages static files but look at this here this is configured already you are this is your application name your application name is what my app my app dot apps dot my app config only okay my app config only so this is already configuration done so whenever you create a new application compulsory that application we have to include in the installed apps of settings.py look at this and i am trying to create a new application here 
in to go to terminal i am trying to create under dijango project file i am creating new application so how to create new application for your existing project python space manage.py start app your application name is my app one it's my new application already my app is there but i am trying to create a new application that is my app one let's see this my app one is created here it is created you can go and check out here now you can see my app one is added here this is new application which i created for my project it, a project contains multiple applications but the moment when we create a, a new application immediately you should inform to server dijango server how to inform to server that i am creating new application already i created so you can inform to dijango server by adding this application name into settings.py of your project folder under the installed apps only already when i was created with my app a dijango project file i just created along with my app only that's what it is added already configuration but <clears throat> but just now i created one new project new application my app one is this configured here no so you have to in include this my app one under the installed apps only then only next time whenever we send a request from your my app one to dijango server dijango server can recognize by checking this my app one is under installed apps only so dijango project is nothing but it's a group of applications so in this application some predefined applications are there which is going to be supporting system and your applications also there so this application configuration by default it's it's came because of when i was created dijango project along with the application but just recently i have added new application that application name also how to include in the installed app not only this from now onwards how many application you keep on adding to your dijango project every application name we have to include under the installed apps of settings.py this is mandatory okay next uh, you can observe here i just created dijango project along with the templates folder no so that's what template folder also available here then template folder also configured in the templates directory in settings.py templates directory also there in this template directory you can see dirs directory and base dir templates so this is the folder name i have included automatically it is included okay it, it's included because of i just created this dijango project along with templates folder only through design directly by going like this new project okay dijango more settings look at this template folder also there or not this folder is automatically there that's what it is incl included into templates folder this one only so these are the settings which will happen whenever we create dijango project directly with pycharm professional editor but let me open our existing project so i am not going to continue with this project i am going to focus on my project which i created earlier so that project is present on desktop and dijango 630 am and dijango 630 am project only let me open it again now tell me how i created this project by going to step by step of command prompt command prompt uh, through I, i was created in the last session this project and the application and everything but that's the reason you don't find a look at this you don't find any uh, template folder here do you have any template folder like this no but this application also how i just created through command prompt only the reason if you create this application also through command prompt that's what this application not registered not installed not included under installed apps look at this so it is not included under installed apps only let's go to your project and click on settings.py now this is our project settings now just closely observe so go to yes look at this installed apps is there so do i have my app installation here included no so this application also i was created in the last session through command prompt that will not add it automatically under the installed apps so you have to install compulsory means we have to include just my app name you have you can give this nothing need to be you so this is clear my app is also good like this from today onwards so i am going to use this project only completely this project for entire the dijango sessions and i just keep on adding a new application to this existing project and finally at last day of the dijango sessions 
I will send this project folder to your Google Drive completely. Okay. So this is okay. Completely. Can we use terminal also. Uh, the terminal which is there in Python. Yeah, terminal also there is there. No, here terminal. Uh, like how we have created yesterday through uh, that terminal. Can we do that uh, by using this one? Yes, this one also. You can see this. I will show you. Okay. Yeah. So what was the other one? I have this one then. Uh, the one which you showed me yesterday, I was able to create it. The mm. other screen you which you were showing us, what was that one then? I couldn't understand. Where other screen? Where I have this one? one. You were showing the other one that it doesn't have the, it doesn't have the any, those URL pie, URL uh, PyCham files and other, other applications like setting. The other one you, which you just showed us. See, this is projects folder, Django projects is 30 AM settings folder, project folder, and this is application yeah, this. folder. Okay. This application folder. But there was another screen which you just showed us that there was nothing in it, and that, that's what you were seeing. There was another screen, just I said that whenever you try to create project directly through PyCharm professional editor, some settings will be by default will come. I said more settings, application name, templates, everything will come by default and it is integrated with settings.py, I said. Okay. If you, so we will project, be using this one, right? Which we, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This project I was created in the last session through command prompt. Yes. Whenever to, you yeah. do the uh, whenever you do that project creation application creation command prompt through after that when you loaded this project existing project in PyCharm professional editor then that your application name by default will not be included in the installed apps of settings.py file you have to do manually installation in the settings.py my app is included here and even you can observe that there is no templates folder available right now here do you have any templates folder I have a templates folder. I have a init dot asgip pycharm and setting and URL. Don't don't need that one. I am asking straight away. Do you have any template folder in this uh, left hand side? Template. Panel? I have a template. Uh, yes. Uh, you have means you you as you are created the project like this file menu, new project, Django framework. You have created project like this because template folder already included. Okay, you have created, okay. I think so, this way. Mm -hmm. This way, if you create that, I'm yes, saying yes, that, I... uh, that that is only I'm saying this way, if you create template folder by default will be available here. But I'm saying okay. that uh, when the moment when you create the project with command prompt, everything step by step, which I have shown in the last session, template folder will not come by default. Okay. And template folder, how to add means you have to include the template folder manually. And moreover, okay. the application also, it is not going to be uh, configured automatically in the installed apps. You have to include your application names every time here in, under the installed apps only. I just included my app into this installed apps, fine. After that, let me try to create a template folder here. So how to create template folder? Because in MVT pattern model view template, our application files are showing models okay, views okay by default. But where is the template? Template is missing. So for that, we have to create template folder. Template folder, how to create? Right click on this project name, go to new, simply directory. Okay, so this is a folder creation option. This is directory folder. Again, I'm saying that right click on this project name, go to new directory. So here we have to give the name of the folder templates. The moment when I have added template, now template folder is came. This I created manually. But you have created manually, but this we have to inform to Django server in the settings.py. But in the settings.py right now, template folder, you can see templates directory is there. There is no DIRS templates. Is there any template name? No. We have to include that. How to include templates? That's it. If you create Django project directly in PyCharm professional editor, these all not required to do because template folder by default available, that is register already here. And if you don't include these templates here, what will happen after template creation, when we execute your Django project, you will find some errors like template does not exist like that. Because you have created template folder, but we have not informed to your Django server that we have a templates folder in our project. We have to inform that by adding these templates in the directory of templates folder. 
So this is manually created template folder and my application we have to configure under the installed apps. Okay. This is only pos is required those who create a Django project with command prompt step by step way. But those who create Django project with a PyCharm professional editor directly, no need to do all these settings not required. Automatically it is configured. And uh, let's uh, go. To, yeah, tell me. On my screen, I see a, a template with the purple color, not the gray. I just created it. I, it's gray now. The, the one which I created before, it's showing purple. Is there any meaning on it? See, the thing is, it depends on your uh, theme of background. I don't know what exactly your PyCharm theme background. It depends on theme. Even you can see this when I go for settings and it's not a big deal actually. These are uh, how I can say, I don't know. So look okay, at Okay, I just sent the picture in WhatsApp. No need, no need. Editor tool here, you can see this. This is the theme option is there. You can see this, these are the theme. So this theme is Windows 10 light is there. Sometimes we can make dark also. Then we can make it this background color is theme is changing. No, now you can see this when we go for settings.py, then automatically color impact will be changed. No. Okay. So this is it depends on background of uh, uh, theme. It's not a matter of this color, what color it is. Let it be you no know, problem. What what nothing wrong in that. So just because of the changing the theme of the background color, so you can able to change the theme also as per your requirement, not a problem. So based on the theme, the color combination will be different. So I'm taking Windows 10 light. Let's make this one. So this is about uh, settings.py. So one thing I can say that every time, the moment when we add new application, immediately you should come to settings.py under the installed app, you have to include your application name. Okay. Now let's go to terminal here because I have to run the server for this Django project. To run the server, you just go to terminal. But look at this, you are in the terminal window right now. <clears throat> okay. But you are in the terminal window. Okay. But we are not into our virtual environment here. So our virtual environment name is what? MyNV. How do you know that virtual environment name? Directly go to your project folder, which is available in my desktop. You will come to know that virtual environment name folder is MyNV. This is the folder actually. So we have to activate virtual environment here also, because the moment when we open Django project, which we created previously with the virtual environment properly, then that uh, uh, is not going to be activated by default in PyCharm professional editor also. So to activate this virtual environment, obviously look at this, the virtual environment is located in which folder? Django 630M folder. In this folder, virtual environment myenv is there. So how to move back this two-step back folder? Two step back purpose, one dot for moving Django project 630 AM, <clears throat> one more dot for moving back Django 630 AM, then backslash your virtual environment name is myenv slash scripts slash activate. So this is the command, sir. Every day we need to activate this virtual environment even after loading your Django project into PyCharm professional editor. When we hit the enter button, Look at this, we are activated virtual environment, my end. Right now you are under your virtual environment only where you have created your Django project. So now we have to start the server. To start the server, Python space manage.py run server. Now you can see run server. So once we have a server running, then you can see this, there is a link is there, one link, HTTP colon. So 127.0.0.1 colon 8,000. This is the local address, IP address 127.0.0.1 colon 8,000 is the port number. But note this point along with this, you, you have some message also, look at this. You have 18 unapplied migrations. Unapplied migration means migrations I have not applied. By default for the first time, you will get this message. Your project may not work properly until you apply the migration for your applications, admin application, authentication application, content types, and session management. The built in applications are there, no? For this built in applications, migrations make to apply. So, to run this migration, they are suggesting like Python space manage.py migrate to apply them. I will apply later. Okay. The situation needs to be demand. Today only I'll apply this migration. What will happen? I'll show you. 
Now, the moment when we hit this link directly here, then automatically Django server is running or not? Yes, server is running. The installed worked successfully. So congratulations. So that means this message, those who are getting, that means you, your setup was successfully done, sir. Okay, fine. But look at this port number, sir, port number. What is this port number? Port number is 8,000. But after running that, when we come back, go back to here window. So this is unnecessarily script is generating because of server uh, code it is. But you want to make it comfort and clear it one. So I can recommend to use control C. Control C means it will go back to your virtual environment command prompt again. From here onwards, you can proceed your commands. Control C going back to your environment. And after that, do you want to make it clear this all these things? CLS. What is that? CLS, clear screen. And it will clear the screen and you can make comfortably, you can write the commands here again. But let me restart the server. So Python space manage.py run server. Previously, when I was run server, the port number was 8000 default. But do you want to change your port number? So your server need to be executed on different port number. Yes, means you can give the port number like 6000. So Python space manage.py run server port number is 6000. Now it will generate a link with 6000 port number. Now you can see this. When we click on this, and again, it will run through 6000 port number like this. And look at this in the URL address 127.0.0.1 is the local host IP address that is. Instead of 127.0.0.1 also, we can use local host, not a problem. We can use local host name also. This will be same result. There is no uh, yeah, local host server is not working with port number default. Okay, we have to change it. Let me change it. But local host will work fine, sir, because of 6000 port number. Let me rerun. Control C, clear screen, and restart the server. Now, when, instead of 127.0.0.1, then localhost also will be work. Okay, localhost. So only instead of 127.0.0.1 only. Instead of this, we can use localhost. So localhost is working clearly, you can see. Localhost default port number is 8000. That's what it is working now. So either you can use IP address, what it is generated, or you can use localhost also instead of 127.0.0.1 also. So this will work, sir. Do you want to clear the screen again? Control C and CLS. And uh, recent time, uh, what uh, uh, commands you have applied, that commands you want to retype it, no need to retype by typing python space manage.py like this, okay? Just to, you can press this down arrow mark or up arrow mark. So keep on pressing which command you need, that command you can stop it. Up and down arrow mark, you can press it. Automatically commands which we pass it today, that commands will be available. Which command you need, that can be hold it and run it directly. You no need to type every time again and again, okay? Yes. And one more important thing I want to say in this case. Some students, uh, whenever they open the Django project after moving the terminal window, they might get some here instead of virtual environment, some PS. PS means PowerShell window. So automatically, they <clears throat> automatically their environment will move in the PowerShell window. How it is, how to rectify that issue, sir? Simple. I'll, I'm closing this. Now you can see. You can expand this uh, after moving terminal window. Okay. And you can expand this drop drop down list down arrow mark and you can see windows powershell and command prompt is there so you can go to settings.py here settings in this settings you can see cell path is what actually cmd.exe in my case cmd.exe is activated permanently i have activated but some students may face this issue like this powershell by default into their system activated powershell only powershell.exe and click on okay now you can see the moment when we close this local window after going to be terminal, look at this. The thing is, you might be able to see in your computer PS also. What is the meaning of PS? You know, PowerShell that is. PowerShell. You are not into command prompt. You are into PowerShell window now. Okay, you are into PowerShell window, sir. But sir, how do we make permanent changes PowerShell window? From PowerShell window to uh, command prompt window, how do we make permanent uh, uh, changes means? So there is simple technique is there. What is the technique? Again, you have to go to drop down list here. So that is 
you have to go to drop the news or some people will open the new local window again like local window power shell only it is there okay that is power shell every time but this solution is for what actually yes yes you should not be in the power shell window continuously okay it will work but you should manage with your virtual environment with the c drive only cmd.exe so how to manage mint is you can see this expand this drop down list arrow mark down and now you can see if you go to command prompt here if you go to command prompt temporarily you are going to be command prompt only look at this command prompt temporarily you are going that to local to window only but this is not permanently it will be shift into powershell to command prompt okay if you want to go for permanently shift into now again you can see close this window close this window again if you change command prompt again go to terminal right now again you are into ps only so this is not permanent solution temporarily if you want to open with other window and you can go with command prompt also you can able to change it command prompt temporarily that is local window to its opening but sir how i can do for continuously my working um, uh, environment should be command prompt in the sense you can go to expand this drop down list arrow mark settings and here you can see action application settings cell path is there no you can expand drop down list and you can select this cmd.exe and save changes okay from now onwards you can once you close this all windows which is open already you can go back to terminal window right now you are into command prompt c drive and here in this c drive we have to activate our virtual environment slash slash my env slash activate slash activate i am telling you all students commonly what settings problem they are going to face it is very important to us first you are setting and environment is ready then it will be easy to handle the dijang application but most of the people uh, will get trouble in the settings settings time only installation time only uh, dijango project setting time they will take lot of time so that's what settings are very important once you have the awareness of how to manage your dijango project under pycharm editor okay different different style of creation if you know that it will be easy to manage so activate and my env slash script slash activate here so now you are into virtual environment right now fine yes so you can run the server and execute not a problem and one more important thing i am telling you sir so whenever generally when we start the server you are going to uh, start the server with url but you can see every project is having url for now you can see project folder is having urls.py so application folder don't have any urls.py even we can create application level urls and project level urls also not a problem but right now we are having only one application that's what we are having only one urls.py project level urls only so double click on urls.py urls means what uniform resource locator and that url names through only we can communicate with our server so by default url configurations are available in dijango urls no need to do changes here but look at this url patterns what is the first url name is there admin url name is there this is this url name is for what actually administrative panel okay administrative panel so administrative panel how to visit means by using this url only let's see the server let me start the server i'm just hitting down arrow mark up arrow mark just recent comments not there let's start this python space manage.py run server the moment when i run server you will see this will be able to get this link and after that hitting this link according to my uh, url address in the urls.py there is a admin url name is there what will happen sir if i try to hit this admin url slash admin means it will open admin panel so slash admin is my url name yes my project level settings in the project level folder set urls.py is having one url name is there that is called admin url that only i have hit this in my browser so the moment when i hit this admin url so it is saying dijango administration but do you want to enter into dijango administrative panel so you need a compulsory username and password sir but how do i get username and password means you have to create your account so the dijango administrative person means we can call it as in dijango terminology super user super user means he is the admin user he can have full right to uh, add multiple users delete users 
anything he can do with the super user but right now in my case we don't create any super user account username and password i don't have let me close this so i want to create a super user okay uh, i want to create account but before going to create the super user account so what is required means we have to do make migrations look at this whenever i run the server it is showing what actually look at this you have 18 unapplied migrations or not yes migration means what by default in dijango settings.py some applications are there look at this admin application authentication application for creating username and password content type sessions for this dijango need to create some built in tables built in tables are there you know dijango is integrated by default one database what is that sqlite tree where it is integrated sir you can go through settings.py file slowly you can observe database configuration is what sir here SQLite three DB dot SQLite three. It is integrated, but this database integrated contains some built-in tables because built-in tables. Why? Because built-in applications are there. This application related tables need to be created. But when it will create, when we apply migrate only. That's what you can see. Notice that the moment when I create project Django project DB dot SQLite three is there, but it is what icon is showing? Text file icon is showing. Icon you can see text file it is. Text file means nothing is there in this database. Got my point? So after applying migration, then automatically the relevant built-in application related tables will create. Admin tables also will create. That's what we need to create. What uh, migrate? So how to create migrations means Python space manage dot py simply migrate. You can pass the command migrate Python space manage dot py migrate. Once the moment when I hit this migration, now you can see lot of migrations are apply or not. Yes, total migrations are applied here. All migrations are successfully. After making migrations successfully, now we can see this when we go to uh, what we can say. Uh, uh, create admin user, super user, then automatically your database look and feel will be changed. Okay, now you can see this whenever we reload from the disk. So I'm going to reload from the disk automatically. Now database icon is changed or not. Look at this. Now it was previously text file. Now this time it is database file. This database file is having lot of tables. Okay, now once we have a database table db.sqlite, like sir, how to manage this database table, sir? Simple. If you want to open this database table, what is there in this after making migration? You can see this in the PyCharm professional editor, right hand side database is there. No? You can see this database, right hand side. There is a database is there, right hand side. Okay, this is the Django right hand side database is there. In this database, there is no databases included here, db.sqlite. So how to add it? How to add it by using plus symbol? Now you can see data source is there. After data source, you can go to which data source you need, SQLite data source I need. I'm selecting SQLite only. And it will ask you to select the file path where it is there. Okay, my file path, I'm going to click on plus symbol. And where is your project exactly located? That project location, you have to go and select your target database. My project is present in where? Desktop users, Mohan and the desktop. Now you can see, and this Django 6:30 a.m. folder and Django project 6:30 a.m. expansion and your db dot sqlite tree is there. Click on OK. Say yes. Automatically say OK. Then this will added into in the left right hand side panel of your PyCharm editor only. From now onwards, you can manage your Django current project tables from here only. You can expand it and you can expand uh, main. So main is don't have any tables. Once right click on main folder. Right click on main folder and refresh it. Automatically, you can see this built in tables are created. So, tables are by default 12 tables will be created for built in application. In this, our main admin user table is this is authentication user table. So, right click on this table if you want to see the data, edit data. So, you can see we have a admin table is created clearly, admin user, but no one is there right now, admin user. Right now, I'm creating super user for our project super user because the moment when i run the uh, terminal window through server so i have not uh, uh, able to join with username and password okay when we run this server now you can see we got this link 
after getting this link when i click on this link after that admin panel so admin panel is asking what actually username and password is required for dijang administration do you have do i have username and password no how to create username and password yes super user creation is required how to create super user means look at this super user creation before that let me clear the screen completely to create super user you can pass this command python space manage dot py simply create super user super user is the admin user for our project so without space create super user python space manage dot py create super user the moment when i hit this enter button it is asking me username leave blank to use the mohan do you want to use your computer name by default as a super user name mohan you can say leave blank without enter any date but my super user name i am giving here so a super user i am taking this name i am giving from now onwards he is the super user for our dijanga project so i am giving this name super user and mail is optional any mail you can give not a problem super user and password also is asking for easy uh, uh, idea purpose i am taking super user name as a password name same only but when we type password it will not available it will not type actually so for security reason again you can type password again press enter it is saying that the password is too similar to the username and anyway we can bypass it the password is too common also it is saying bypass password validation and create anyway user means say s means i can say super user created successfully who is our super user sherry is the super user so now i have a super user account you can see the super user details where it will stores are in this authentication user table you can refresh it then you can see super user created and databases table is created this is the super user active super user status also one means super user normal user means zero only now i have admin username and password now let's start the server now once i start the server now you can see when we go to admin panel let's click on this right now we can have the admin panel admin admin so admin panel who can visit means super user already super user created super user name is sherry and password is also same click on this we got super user successful so this is called dijang admin panel welcome to sherry so dijang admin state panel here so why dijang admin state panel sir you can manage your database tables and all the users and groups and everything will be managed this is very important for dijang authentication system in upcoming session you will come to know about this dijang administration so you want to log out here you can log out here that's it so this is about super user maintain and dijang project uh, hierarchy how to make setup and what are the minimum basic settings of dijang how database migrations after migration only database folder will be create after folder creation how to open your database folder into database uh, option from the right hand side for the first time whenever you want to manage database you can manage from here only but this database management is different ways we can manage i will also say that all different ways but right now the easiest way is we can manage from here only from pycharm professional later okay so this is about today's session and tomorrow we'll see all the files uh, folders hierarchy explanation is there what is admin.py what is models.py test.py every files and everything i'll explain clearly so that's what uh, from then tomorrow is the last demo dijango friday and next after completion of demo your next regular sessions will happen from monday onwards uh, that is new link through go to meeting link we will provide this zoom link will work for tomorrow only those who are new to my batch so other than my existing python full stack students please enroll for this course do you want to continue my dijango lecture and the rest api and flask framework three frameworks i am going to cover with this lectures okay so you have tomorrow only time you can able to join on this link zoom link from monday onwards we will provide a short link that is go to meeting link only enrolled students you will get a link from us Yeah, yeah, yeah. These all videos. Once I collect mail IDs from Durga sir, okay. Once I get the confirmation, how many students are there? Full stack students and all. So this five days, five videos on Saturday morning and total complete Dijango PDF. You can uh, get that. I'll send to your mail. Okay, five videos and total PDF documentation.
from monday onwards uh, sixth video seventh video daily one video i'll upload that is common procedure what we followed in python core and advanced python Yes, yes, old students or new students on Saturday morning, for sure you will get complete five videos lecture and the documentation completely. Even in meanwhile, if you want to watch my five videos, then they are uploading, Durga Soft people are uploading these videos into YouTube channel, no? so there you can manage it at, at least for temporary. So same videos you will, I'll upload to your Google Drive, no problem. Yeah, you need document means I'll send the document at least. Old students, I'll uh, send the complete documentation today night or tomorrow, maximum I'll try. Because I need to get the confirmation, those, how many are there uh, in Django dispatch only. That mails I need to separate. And daily, uh, I need to upload the videos and material for that mails only, not other students. Okay. And one thing is there, those who are having some problem with the Django installation, PyCharm setup and all, I request you uh, join with the, uh, uh, what we can say, uh, what we can say, uh, new link. I will provide a new link. Okay, so on that link you can join on Saturday morning, so that I'll solve the issues at all. Okay, yes. Same time, same time. Six thirty a.m. No, your batch time is there. Yeah, 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 sure. I'll send it, I'll send it. So see you tomorrow again. No problem, I'll help you regarding that setup. It's not a big deal. So everything will be set right by Saturday morning. Okay, you can share the screen so I can help you regarding that. That's easy.